Welcome back, Chavez, Slovakia. My hair's doing this weird side part thing, so it's been looking real mushroomy lately, and I think the more my hair grows up, it's gonna just start laying aside like a big palm tree. Yeah. Yeah. You know what else lives in palm trees? Your mom? Rats. <laughs> rats. <laughs> rats, they do. We have rats that live in palm trees here in Vegas. Another thing that you know about palm trees in Vegas is that's also where all the bugs are. And I complained last time we did a Lindsay video that there weren't enough bugs. Yeah. I need uh, cryptid bugs. There were plenty of bugs for me because there were not. Here we go. Uh, spooky specimens, prehistoric millipedes. I picked this just for you. Yeah. Millipedes is a type of bug. <laughs> I think they know that. Yeah. Spoiler alert, the oldest land animals on the planet are millipedes. And I already know what some of you are thinking. Oh, you're talking about millipedes? Yawn. No, no. Do you think I would make millipedes <laughs> one of my first long form videos if I didn't have outrageous information to share with you? To be fair, we don't know you, so maybe. Yeah, we don't really know what we're in for, so. <laughs> but. You know, you have a trustworthy face. Yeah. I have a lot to say. I'm going to introduce you to some of the earliest millipedes as well as some of the most badass species that are alive yeah. today. As always, let's get the quick facts out of the way. Millipedes are arthropods. They've got exoskeletons and a lot of legs. They appear all over the world except for polar regions and have been featured in a few of my skits, including my most popular, No Bone Zone. Mmm, this looks nice. No! Wait, that's who this is? <laughs> Have you seen this video? Yes! Oh, I've never seen it. Wait a minute, I know you! Stop right there! Those videos are hilarious! Let me see it. Oh my goodness. This looks nice. No! You can't be up here! Why? Do you have bones? Yeah. Get out. What? You have bones. You're not welcome <laughs> here. This is a no bone zone! They said get out. Do you have ears? No, I don't. No bone zone! It's a no bone zone! <laughs> you have bones and this is a no bone zone! Well, I want to get up here. The ocean is boring and I want to try something new. Read my lips! It's a no bone zone! <laughs> well, what are you made out of? Aren't we the same thing? Do not compare my exoskeleton with your fucking bones! <laughs> Go back to where you came from. This is a no bone zone. Make me. <laughs> right. Dude, there are so many of those videos. I've never seen them. I don't know. Maybe somebody started biting off of it because that voice doesn't really sound as familiar. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. yeah, man, science facts, little faces. Millipedes belong to the class Diplopoda. They are so vast, they have their own class. To put that in perspective, all reptiles belong to the same class Reptilia. Mm -hmm. Sidebar, I'm thinking of doing a video on taxonomic rank just to provide an understanding of how scientists classify different organisms. Okay. So if you're interested in that, let me know. So within the millipede class, there are over 12,000 species that we know of, and of course, thousands more that we haven't discovered yet. But 12,000 is still a really big number. That's more than twice the amount of mammals on the planet. I mean, it's nothing on the beetles. 25% of all discovered animal species are beetles, but that's a topic for another day. Exactly. <laughs> It's a lot, man. It just makes me so unhappy every time I hear it. It's like so many different kinds of flavors, different ways the legs are attached, different ways the little organs do things. You know what doesn't change, though? Hmm. The fact that I will step on them. Man, so Actually, them... that's a lie. I'm too scared to step on bugs. That's but a I'll fact. make my husband step on them. And this is also <laughs> timely because the uh, crickets are back invading Vegas. So they're everywhere. We just went to the park and they, they scattered like dust. It's horrendous. This does not include centipedes, by the way. They have their own separate class called Kylopoda. The main difference between the two is that centipedes have one pair of legs per segment and millipedes have, have two. two pairs of legs per segment. Generally, I, I don't want to make a sweeping statement across the board because nature would just swing back around and kick my ass. But both centipedes <laughs> and millipedes belong to a larger group called the myriapods. And so right. the amount of legs a millipede has has nothing to do with what their name translates to. Millipede means a thousand feet. But generally, they have somewhere between 24 to 750 legs. That's generally, not anywhere near a thousand. So obviously, since appearing about 420 million years ago, yeah. millipedes have diversified into abysmal forms of all sizes. But before we get into that, I want to paint a picture of what the world was like during the time that they evolved. Right, the Silurian period, starting 443 million years ago. Earth was unrecognizable to how we know it today. Life was almost entirely restricted to the oceans, where ecosystems looked downright alien. The apex predators of the time were giant sea scorpions like Pteragotus oh that could get to six feet long. There were so also creatures dope. like Solacina Cthulhu that had 45 tentacle-like feet. That looks dope. It's like a brain with like vines on it. I know. <laughs> 
And there were fishes, but really just the precursors to the fish that we know today. Okay. Jaws had only just started evolving, so most of them were jawless, like lampreys and hagfish. Uh. And there were a few familiar faces too, like coral reefs and sponges and jellyfish. Oh. And horseshoe crabs came into the mix horseshoe then crab. as well. So, life in the oceans was doing pretty well. So it's not surprising that a few brave lineages started to venture onto land, which was a massive undertaking. I mean, gravity sucks up here. It's dry as fuck. Plants had already <laughs> begun their journey millions of years prior, and were finally really starting to take root. <laughs> With the new development of stems. It wasn't anything crazy. The stems were like a few centimeters tall. But it was a step in the right direction that would eventually lead to the towering trees that we know today. That's yeah, so interesting. Trees didn't exist yet. But That's that doesn't so mean there weren't other organisms that kept the seat warm for them while they figured their shit out. The giant fungus called Prototaxites. They are wow. always a fun time to bring up on TikTok. You <laughs> sick, sick freaks. These <laughs> fungal towers could get to 26 feet tall. I believe at one point, scientists suggested they might have had that mushroom top, which would have been really cool. But I think gravity and the lack of fossil evidence removed that possibility, yeah. unfortunately. And these Silurian skyscrapers looked even more massive to the only animals on land at the time, like the millipedes, who currently hold millipedes. the record of the first animals on land. A body fossil of a species called Pneumodesmus pneumis. Look at that. Shit gets a little muddy here, to be honest, and their record holding status is on fragile ground. Because mm. the fossil record of tiny little things from over 400 million years ago is scarce, yeah. some might say. And this fossil is of a millipede-like myriapod. So not, a millipede relative, right. but not completely not millipede. Exactly and they were first yet. estimated to live in the late Silurian, but then were recalculated to the early Devonian, the following period. Look. Dude, who was really keeping track of difference of millions of years ago? Y'all are using classifications mm -hmm. that the average Joe is just not familiar with. For the sake of this video, they're in the middle, okay? Paleontology drives me crazy sometimes. Yeah. But it's not crazy to assume that other millipedes that we don't have fossils of were alive before them, especially with trace fossils found in Prototaxites, their little footprints, that uh, suggest these <laughs> early land residents were calling the fungus home. Pneumodesmus pneumony looked like a pretty typical millipede, even though it wasn't. But this fossil had a very important feature, openings all over its exoskeleton called spirit. These are a network of tiny tubes that allow air to diffuse into the bodies of myriapods okay. and insects, part of their respiratory system. Yeah. Its mechanism is very different from the respiratory systems that we have and are familiar with. And with the way this mechanism works, higher oxygen concentrations can lead to larger bodies. Yes. Right. Where I'm going yes. with this. Yeah. yeah. These they things got huge, big. right? Millipedes hold another record. The largest <laughs> in <laughs> ever walk up. And that's what I'm talking about. Every time I think of big bugs, I think of the King Kong movie. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. That is literally exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Every time. We know. These massive millipedes belong that. to the genus Arthropleura, and were able to get up to nine feet long. Ah, they were alive during the Carboniferous period, which you might remember is when the Tilly monster was swimming around in the oceans. The Carboniferous period is most well known for its higher oxygen concentrations, about 35% compared to the 21% that we have today. This is due to the massive trees that finally came around and pumped more oxygen into the atmosphere. And this had a profound found impact on the land invertebrates, specifically the myriapods and insects who are fueled by these oxygen Look levels diffusing into their bodies. So, like the giant arthropoda, mm. there were other animals like the giant dragonfly, Meganeura, who had a Absolutely three foot long not. wingspan. <laughs> so obviously nothing in nature is cut and dry, so for arthropleura, their diet of nuts and seeds was probably a more significant factor in the size of their bodies. Mm -hmm. A little bit of both. And this pattern of oxygen affecting body Jesus. size is not true for other animals, <laughs> like the megafauna that existed during the Ice Age and other prehistoric periods. Those all had to do with other factors. And although we don't have giant millipedes admiring oh Renaissance God. artwork, we do have species that are absolutely worth mentioning. Like this hot pink bitch, the pink dragon well, milky. Cool. They were only first discovered in oh, 2007 cool. in Thailand and they're about three centimeters long. Yeah. Their coloration is a bold choice. That it's very telling. It's dope. an example of a posomatic coloration, which is essentially colors that act as a warning. Right. Don't because these bitch. things are packing heat, hydrogen, <laughs> cyanide. They produce Whoa. hydrogen cyanide as a defense mechanism. Whoa. You're probably thinking this must be an outlier. Cyanide producing millipedes must be an outlier. Right. They're part of an order where this is just typical. Called polydesmida. Oh, okay, cool. Polydesmida. I think polydesmida. It can Which one is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know science things. How would you say it? Polydesmida. That's what it is then. <laughs> it consists of about 3,500 species that are just known really? for their noxious chemical production. Some Jesus. do hydrogen cyanide, others do formic acid, and it's released from pores all over their body when threatened. Depending on the species, it'll either leak out or spray everywhere, which is just fucking insane. None of them have the power to seriously harm a human, right. that we know of, but it will burn and blister. Whoa! What do you mean not seriously harm, bitch? That's what do you 
Looks That's like a, serious harm. That's how you just grabbed a pan of tater tots out the oven, no gloves. Yeah. And it does have the power to kill birds and other predators. Aww. Also, fun fact, hydrogen cyanide smells like toasted almonds. So if you're holding a millipede and suddenly you smell toasted almonds, you gotta go, which is a problem for me. I will go in any direction I smell toasted almonds coming from. Maybe with say, a little coconut, I smell food, you know, I'm and then some ice cream. Goddamn masterpiece. And as far as we know, there is only one millipede species that reigns true to their name. And scientists mm -hmm. only found it last year. It was described in December of 2021. Its scientific name is Eumillipedes Persephone. That it has 1,306 legs on 330 wow. segments. If you do the math real quick, you'll realize they're missing about 14 legs from the standard form of four legs per segment. But with that many legs, you're bound to get something messed up in there. Yeah. 1,300 legs sounds like this Ugh. thing would be huge, but it's less than a millimeter wide and about Whoa. 100 millimeters long. And they're not born with that's that many segments. Tiny. They continuously add them as they develop, like a typical mm, snake IO experience. Cute. They were found on the only continent you would expect all wild shit to come from. Australia. 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 And I yeah. think, actually, I know this allows us to leave with the conclusion that there are more legs on this planet than eyes. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> and are walking away with a newfound respect for these little guys. Next no. time, I'll be telling you about a phenomenon that horrifies me to my core. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you want to keep up with my daily short form content, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. But for now, stay curious. The world has a lot for us to learn. See ya! Man, I was very happy with that. I might, love it. The world might have a lot for us to learn, but do I want to learn it is the question. Legs. W learn it one leg at a time. Don't run the whole race. Split it up in little leg segments. It's too many legs. So I would just like to make it clear, yes. right. right? If giant millipedes ever come back, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm done. I'm so, out of here. You know, Joe Biden's got this uh, big thing. He's talking about electric cars getting rid of fossil fuels, mm -hmm. planting more trees, mm -hmm. adding more oxygen to the, you know, you know the, I said the universe, adding more oxygen to the planet to build bigger millipedes. Mm -hmm. He's not a reptile man, he's a, a millipede, millipede man. man. And I rest my case. Chavez Slovakia, thanks for joining us. <laughs> uh, the next one I do of this will be about frogs. These are the two things I enjoy the most about the animal kingdom insects, and reptiles. You can't do the frog one without me. Also, frogs are amphibians, not reptiles. Whether my wife is here or not, I will be in a swamp. Hopefully, she's around to join me. Unless he gets rid of me. All righty then. If I disappear, you know who did it, I guess. Just uh, start the search. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs>